Huh? This is the most complete and ginormous book on the history of the Wonderbolts. Okay, but how am I supposed to get what's in there into here? With my handy dandy study checklist, of course. Of course. First up, reading and highlighting. Reading and highlighting is the foundation of any good study method. It allows the student to hone in and boil down on what's really important, separating the good from the bad, the wheat from the chaff, getting to the crux of things. Let's see what you've got so far. Um... Huh? Hmm, by highlighting everything, you don't really separate the wheat from the chaff. Or the good from the bad. Hey, I am not that tall. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rainbow, clearly reading and highlighting is not your style of studying. So let's move on to the tried and true. History lecture. Yes, Rainbow? <laughs> is it snack time? No. Recess? No. Uh, can't we just watch the History of the Wonderbolts movie? No! Now, just get comfortable and experience the magic of learning. Ahem. Prior to the great Celestia Luna rift, there was no need for the Earth Unicorn Pegasi, or EUP Guard. <sighs> but after Luna's banishment, the protective pony platoons were formed. On the anniversary of the first celestial year of peace, a celebration was held. Headed by General Firefly, an elite team of aerial performers were chosen to help commemorate this auspicious occasion. The first performance was so full of energy, so highly charged, that magical lightning showered down on the crowd. Every pony was so filled with amazement and wonder that General Firefly dubbed them the Wonderbolts. Rainbow Dash, can you repeat any of my lesson? <laughs>